Hello everybody and welcome to All About Africa. My name is Imoitinya and I am your host. So I want to begin with a question as I always do with all my episodes so far. Do you think child marriage, child marriage can come to an end in this generation? Do you think we have the ability, the capacity, the resources to bring that harmful practice to an end in this generation? That's the question I am going to be attempting to answer on today's episode. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. So towards the end of last year, as I was prepping uh, for this year and, and looking at the subject matters that I would like to cover, child marriage is a big deal for me because when I was younger, there was a young girl um, who used to be in our group in Nigeria when we all would walk home from school. And I remember uh, towards the end of uh, one of the semesters we had, it was the final term, uh, the girl pulled us to the side and she said she's no longer coming back to school because she's been arranged to be married to her father's friend. Um, Awa was her name and she was only 10 years old at the time. I was eight and I was terrified of that. So even as an adult today, I think about Awa almost every day, to be honest with you, because I wonder where Awa's life is today. So that's why the subject matter is so important to me, because I know that there are lots of girls out there who are just like Awa, who is going to be married off. You know, there's 600 or 650 million women who are currently being married off or are eventually going to get married off. You know, it's just something that happens all over the world. So in this particular article that I saw from the BBC News, it says that um, it's going to take us 300 generations or 300 years rather, not 300 generation, but 300 years to bring an end to child marriage. Uh, but around the same time this article was written, uh, the pioneers of humanitarian, uh, Melinda Frenchgate, Barrister, Ama Clooney, and uh, former First Lady Michelle Obama all went to Africa to discuss this matter. So these women are at the front line of bringing an end to the practice. Uh, they went to, they traveled to Malawi and South Africa. Uh, these are countries that have one of the highest rates of child marriages, right? Uh, but, you know, child marriage is prevalent everywhere, particularly in, in it's, ha- it's more high or higher rather in African countries. But it happens in Southeast Asia and and surprisingly enough, it happens in the U.S. as well. So I I was bothered by this. Now, why I think these women do have the right to uh, want to bring an end to such a harmful practice. It also concerns me because this particular issue also happens in the United States as well. There are 27 states in the U.S. that don't do not have a minimum um, age of when a child would get married. So there's no minimum age. So a child as young as 14 can get married in the United States, depending on what state you, 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 the child is based, right? They can get married in, married in the United States uh, with a parental consent um, and also with an approval of a judge. Yeah? So uh, between 2000 and about 2015, it's over 200,000 children were married in the US and the ages were as young as 12 or the children were as young as 12. So when women that are so powerful and so influential decide to go to the continent to try to talk about this issue that is consigned in the continent, they should also think about what's happening at home as well. Because a child getting married in uh, Kentucky, I'm just saying, I don't know if Kentucky has that kind of law, is just as important to me as a Nigerian person and as a woman, uh, as somebody who's in Malawi, a city in Malawi getting married. So I think that it's about time that we start to tell a well-rounded story where we see this as more of a global issue than an African issue. I remember when I was starting my channel, all I want to talk about is African issue. And the more I'm doing all these research, I'm starting to realize that there's no such thing as African issue. It's a global issue. The issue of child marriage is a global issue. So, uh, Miss Michelle Obama, I adore you as always. Melinda Frenchgate, I think you and your uh, ex-husband are doing such a fantastic job. And Amma Clooney, you're just a dope woman all the way. Um, I really would hope that as much effort or as much pressure is placed on local leaders and local people to bring an end to the practice, we can also have that kind of effort being placed in the state as well. Uh, one child is one is one child too many uh, to experience such a traumatic, uh, a traumatic uh, 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 ordeal. Um, and so that's pretty much what my episode is about today. But the question I started out with 
out with it was this. Do you think we can bring an end to child marriage in this generation? Um, I always thought that the reason why child marriage is happening is because of poverty. Parents are looking to um, have their children, uh, 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 you know, giving them a better life and pl placing them in the hands of a man who can take care of them is, is one of the reasons why they do it, right? But our, the lady, the, the young girl whom I shared with you uh, her, of her story earlier was only 10. Her father was a wealthy girl. She was a girl who always had money in the group to buy us candy and ice cream. So it's really not about poverty sometimes. In some in some instances it is, but most of the time it's not about it. It's about cultural issues. So I do not have an answer as to can we end this in this generation. Um, but I would want to hear from you and what you think about this subject matter. Can it be end in this generation? And to help us fully understand the reality and the complexity of this particular subject matter, I am going to be interviewing a woman on my next episode. Um, and we're going to be discussing Child Bride. Uh, in more detail. Uh, she is the founder of Catwalk to Freedom. She's a phenomenal person. I'm, I'm keeping her name secret. <laughs> but on that next episode, we're going to be diving deep into it because she has an incredible story and she's actually among those women in the grassroots making a difference in that particular part of the world, in that part, in, in, in Africa, I should use, particularly uh, in her home country. So I do want to thank you all for joining me. I'm always open, in, I'm always open to hearing your response regarding the subject matter. The idea of, of Western savior, saviorism is coming to an end, I think. You know, um, I want to see more African women on the front line when it comes to the issues that is concerning Africa and Africans. Um, the same way I would like to see more African men, the same way I would like to see more African youth. Let's begin to tell this narrative from the perspective of our own people. That's all I have to say. That's all I would have, or that's all I have to share with you today. I do want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. We have great stuff and happy new year to you and your family for sure.